And through the simple process of chanting the name of God, we can cleanse our heart and bring back its original pure natural state. And then we can learn how to taste real happiness. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma Nasochati Nakamsha Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhapi Nabate The Bhagavad Gita describes the one who attains the spiritual platform of consciousness. He does not hanker for anything he does not have, nor does that person lament for what he does not have, or lament for what one loses. One is self-satisfied. Like the ocean, the ocean due to its own depth and width, due to the volume of water contained in the ocean. In the dry season, hardly any water comes through the rivers into the ocean. In the rainy season, millions of tons, gallons, liters of water are coming in with every second. But is the ocean over flood in the rainy season or dry up in the dry season? Because the ocean is so full in and itself, it is completely undisturbed by these superficial changes in the conditions coming in. So similarly, sometimes we are in disease, sometimes we are healthy. Sometimes we get everything we want, sometimes we lose everything we want. Huh? Happiness, distress, pleasure, pain, honor, dishonor, heat, cold. These are the dualities that always plague the life of everyone in this world. As long as the happiness that we are experiencing within is of the volume of a small puddle of water, then these changes tremendously affect us. When there's happiness, ah, we're elated. And when there's distress, <coughs> we just crash down to the bottom ah, and start lamenting. When we're honored, ah, how wonderful this world is. And when we're dishonored, it's just worse than death, like swords stabbing into our hearts. Ah. When we are given pleasure, ah, we're thinking, ah, I am so lucky. And when there is pain, we're simply lamenting. What a tragedy, what a horrible thing. How cruel this world is. Why is God doing like this to me? <laughs> so in this way, we're so much affected by the dualities of this world. But when we learn to experience the divine ocean of happiness that is within your own heart, you become transcendental to these things. 